Welcome back. Well, Ivory Soap is known for being gentle on your skin, but it also has a unique property that makes it perfect for science experiments. Chemical came along with her daughter, Robin, and is here to share with share with one with us today. Thanks for being with us, guys. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Uh, yes. Yes, I'd like to introduce my daughter, Robin. Robin, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, Mrs. Matches. I would like to make a shout out to you. My name is Robin Lee Clark. <laughs> and rock out. She is a rock star now. <laughs> that's, right, that's right. Yeah, that was a shout out to her class and her teacher. And this is an activity of bringing Robin along that I have done with her and my other kids at home. Okay. And it's a fun, fun activity. And it's due to a manufacturing error that they did to Ivory Soap way almost 100 years ago. They left it in the blender or the mixer too long. Okay. And that put a lot of air inside the soap. And what's so amazing. The amazing about this air, Tara, is Robin and I will demonstrate. Robin's going to take a regular bar soap and put it in water, and you're in the bathtub, right? And you're like, where's the soap? Yeah, where, oh, where's where the is soap? It? Yeah, where is but it? But because it's manufacturing air, go ahead, Robin, with the ivory soap. What does it do, Robin? It floats. It floats. Okay, so this is so, only with ivory soap, right? Only with okay. ivory soap that it does that. So magically, what we're going to do is show, based on the fact that it has a lot of air right. inside there, bringing up, you know, lowering that density, we're going to stick this bar soap into the microwave, right, Robin? And put with it the magic of right into the microwave. Yeah, microwave. Ding! ding, ding. ding. <laughs> wow! What? And look what it does. It and looks this, like, like feel a that bunch hair. of Kleenex. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, and yeah that's a good description. See, and it does fall apart, but what happens is that as that gas, oh the air inside expands, right, Robin? What does it do? Well, it makes it look like tissue paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it expands. Like, Isn't yeah. that really cool? And uh, that's because of that wonderful property of ivory soap that it floats. Okay, so we're going to um, do a few really, really fun activities at home besides not just the microwave one, but the properties. How long, how long did you put in the microwave for? Did you say? Oh, thank you. How long do we put it in there for? Robin? Uh, a minute and a half to two minutes. Yep, depending on your microwave. Okay. So, minute and keep an eye on it. It's really fun to watch it grow. It's really, <laughs> okay, really, okay. really cool. So it's safe to do at home. It's very, very safe. <laughs> So the next activity is taking ivory dish soap now. Okay. Okay, and you can actually use any dish soap, but since we're talking about ivory soap, we might as well, you know, stick with ivory soap. And we're going to first, Robin's going to put a few drops of food coloring in the water just to show what food coloring does in water. What, what does it do, Tara? What do we always see? Go ahead. It just kind of mixes together. Yeah, it just mixes it together, right? Um, you know, it does take a little bit of time to break that surface tension, but eventually, yep. you know, it doesn't take long and the, um, the food coloring will mix. Well, we're going to put food coloring into three different substances. First okay. we have, go ahead, and you can help Robin out. We're just going to put a few drops, one drop at a time, around this little tray of glue that we have, right, Robin? This we put just glue. regular okay. Elmer's glue. And comparing that to how food coloring goes into water, what do you see? It, it doesn't just, it's mix. Just, yeah, it's not mixing at all. doesn't mix. So, Robin, what's going to be the next step after we just take a few drops of food coloring um, onto the glue? Take a toothpick or a skewer. You have the skewer there. Okay. And dip it in the ivory dish soap. Okay, ivory so soap, soap is in here. Okay. Okay, and then you don't want to get a lot. And then just touch the food coloring. Just touch it. Just touch it. And see what happens. I'll let you to do it. And it takes a little bit of time. No, I'm mixing but it soap, okay, soap will break the bonds, the large molecules. What we have here is polyacetate and glue. Okay. And soap is breaking the bonds that is holding together these large compounds. And eventually you will see they're, they're starting, starting to spread, they're yeah. starting to expand. And also it's breaking the surface tension because there's also water in glue. Okay. Okay. And so water is um, get the surface tension of the water is being broken by the by the food coloring. Huh. Now this is kind of neat, and this is going to take time, and eventually the glue will start Definitely to spread uh, out. Yeah, exactly. The the colors will start to spread, and you can make some nice designs, and you can let it sit. Um, Robin's even done a swirl with it, okay. and you can uh, let it dry out, and it'll look kind of almost like okay. Like, like a stained glass or a yeah. uh, sun catcher. Right. We have about a minute left. Okay, so okay, a minute left. Here, let's do it with the cream. Okay, this is our favorite, favorite, favorite. Cream or milk? I have mil milk in this one, but do the same thing, Tara. Just add a few drops okay. of food coloring to the cream. Oops. And that was that was <laughs> that's okay, squirt. that's okay. And go Oops. ahead, Rob, do the green, green. And then I'll do the yellow. And again, um, you know, the properties of soap 
We'll break the bonds of fats and proteins and carbohydrates that okay. we have here. Go ahead, Rob. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead, Tara. We're going to take this, dip it into the ivory dish soap, and now just touch it into the colors here. Oh, look, ooh. look at that. Oh, that's cool. See how, see how it moves, it just, the colors? Well, and that thing. is, you can actually physically see that bond breaking and the surface tension breaking and how it moves in the colors. And you can continually, you know, make, we call it dancing soap or dancing yeah. um, milk, but you can Keeps just going. see it just almost like it's growing and it just continually moves, continually moves. And look at all the funky colors it gets. I produced. love that. That is really cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Really, really fun. Just by properties of soap. Robin, right, you like this one? Yeah. Yeah. You have a pretty cool mom. <laughs> That's not I say so. I, I have a pretty cool, cool daughter. Yeah. I do. Really, Very I do. Cool. You guys, thanks for being with us today. Well, you can find more activities from Chemical Kim on our website at wzzm13.com under those Take Five links.